friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, and today I'm going to show you how to make energy balls, and we are making them in three different flavors. So hopefully you're gonna get some variation and you can kind of add these into your snack rotation. If you are new to the concept of energy balls or you don't know what I'm talking about at all, let me explain. Energy balls are nut and date-based snacks. So you basically blend them up at a food processor, you can add all sorts of flavors, and you turn them into little balls. So these are great because they are amazing for pre and post workout snacks. You can take them with you on the go. They've got healthy fats, they've got protein, they've got carbohydrates. They're basically an all in one package and they're bite sized. So they're the perfect snack. So I'm actually partnering with my friends at Thrive Market to bring you today's video and I chose this topic for this month because Thrive Market has all of the ingredients you need in one place. And what I love about Thrive is that they now have their own name brand products. So you're not only saving on top of the regular savings, but because they have their own name brand now, it's also cheaper. So it's things like nuts, they have almonds, they have cashews, they have medjool dates, which are the base for these energy balls. They also have their own nut butters, which are amazing and creamy, I love them. And then I also get things like laundry detergent, dishwashing soap, all sorts of things, so your savings on top of savings, which I love. If you are new to Thrive Market and you have not yet signed up, I have a special deal for you. You can tap the link in the description box below. That will get you $60 worth of free organic groceries. So it's like savings on top of savings on top of savings. It's really a win-win. So make sure to check that offer out. The flavors that we're making today are all up on my blog, so I've put those individual recipe links for you in the description box below as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay guys, so our first recipe is for peanut butter chocolate chip energy balls. And we are going to start by adding our dates into the food processor along with our almonds. We're also gonna use some quick cooking oats and some flaxseed meal. And then just pop on the lid and start to blend this up. And the consistency that you're looking for is kind of like a sandy texture. So it's gonna look like this. Then you can scoop in your peanut butter and just start to process this together. And it should start to form into a dough, but you're gonna wanna just stream in a little bit of water to help it all come together. Also add in your chia seeds here. And then once you've got a nice sticky dough like this, you can add in your chocolate chips. And basically we're just going to pulse the chocolate chips in. We don't want them to get too broken down by that blade. So just pulse them in until they're evenly incorporated throughout the dough. And the final result for the dough is going to look like this. It's going to be squishy enough for you to squeeze in between your hands, which is how you're going to form the balls. Just kind of squeeze them tightly between your hands and then gently roll them into golf ball sized balls. And that's all you have to do. This is flavor number one, and they are awesome. Flavor number two are snickerdoodle energy balls. The base of this, again, is medjool dates, and the nuts we are using are cashews. We're also gonna add in some coconut oil, as well as some cashew butter. I like to use cashew butter because it's a little bit more mild as well as some cinnamon and some chia seeds. And here you're noticing that I'm blending all of this together. I actually would not recommend doing this. I recommend doing the dates and the nuts ahead of time, then adding in the other ingredients, but it still does work if you wanna throw everything in together. And again, you're just gonna wait till it starts to come into a dough-like consistency. You can stream in some water here to help speed up that process and get it even more sticky. And once it's nice and sticky like this, just kind of evenly spread it out into the food processor and then add in your quinoa crispies. And again, we're just going to gently pulse this together. We don't want the crispy cereal to get too broken down, so just pulse it until it's all incorporated. And again, we're just looking for that same type of sticky consistency like we had with the peanut butter balls. You wanna be able to squeeze it between your hands, which will then help you form it into those balls. These ones, I will say, are a little bit more on the oily side. I think that you can definitely replace the oil and just use plain water or additional cashew butter there if you want to make them completely oil-free, but they definitely taste like snickerdoodle cookies. You could also roll them in like a cinnamon sugar to make them even more decadent, but they have a really nice crunch and an awesome flavor. Last but certainly not least are our turtle cookie energy balls. These taste like turtle cookies and they're so good. So again, we're going to start by blending our medjool dates with our nuts to make these like a turtle cookie. We are using pecans or pecans, however you like to say it. 
Blend that up until you get that nice sandy texture like we got with the first round. And then we'll add in some coconut oil and some almond butter. Again, you could use any type of nut or seed butter. I really like the flavor almond butter brings here, but it's also awesome with peanut butter, as well as some raw cacao powder, some maple syrup for added sweetness. And we blend away. Just like the last two flavors, we're trying to get that sticky consistency. We need to be able to roll it between our hands. Once you've got that dough forming, you can spread it out evenly and pulse in the crispy quinoa cereal as well as your chocolate chips. And again, you want to just pulse. You don't want to blend too much because we don't want all of this stuff to be broken down. The final result should look something like this. It's going to look like it's not going to stick together, but I promise it will when you squeeze it tightly between your hands. This one you do need to squeeze a little bit more tightly, so really kind of clamp it down with your hands to get all of those ingredients stuck together. Then you can gently roll it into your balls. And this one is awesome because it's got that pecan flavor, it's got some caramelly flavor, it's got some chocolate. It's definitely more on the dessert side, but it is so good. And for storing all of these balls, I really recommend doing it in the freezer. I find that it gives them the best texture. I personally think they kind of taste like fudge, but you could also leave them in the fridge. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you give these balls a try. That's kind of a weird thing to say, but I promise they're delicious. If you are new to this whole energy ball slash bite game, you guys are gonna love them. I can't wait to hear which flavor you're most excited to try. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I also wanna thank Thrive Market for joining us in today's video. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I got all of the ingredients for these energy balls on Thrive Market. And I have a special deal for those of you who have not yet signed up. You can tap the link that's in the description box below and you will get $60 worth of free organic groceries. So it's a great deal, highly recommend it. You guys know I love Thrive. It's something I use all the time in my own personal life and I can't recommend it enough. Like I also said in the beginning, all of the individual recipes are linked for you to below. So if you want individual like portion sizes, ingredients, nutrition facts, all that stuff is up on the blog. So you can get those in the description box below as well. If you haven't subscribed, then there's a red button right below this video. I would love for you to join our community here on YouTube. I would also love for you to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, share it with somebody in your life that you think might find this video helpful. And otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your Friday and I will see you next week. Bye guys.